Revelation 2405, b. From the 11th of July 1942. Knowledge. Truth. Scholarly knowledge. People can certainly receive school knowledge but it will always be partial knowledge, it will concern these or those areas but always completely separate from each other, furthermore, the knowledge will mostly touch on earthly things, and where it relates to spiritual things it will also only be taught assumptions which cannot be proven. And this school knowledge makes up all wisdom, for people do not dare to go beyond it, that is they cannot fathom intellectually what is hidden from worldly wisdom, and they do not believe that knowledge can also be imparted to them spiritually and so they are content with what is offered to them by human beings. Spiritual knowledge, however, is not piecemeal but encompasses all areas and enlightens people about the connection of all things. Such extensive knowledge, however, can only be offered by beings which possess the richest knowledge, and which are therefore able to pass it on, and this flow, which pours over the truth desiring spiritual substances in the beyond and on earth, is the spirit of God which unites with every spiritual substance that strives towards God. As soon as a human being on earth opens himself to the influx of the divine spirit he can receive profound knowledge which far surpasses earthly knowledge but which is and has to be pure. Truth because the spirit from God can never err. Uh, and such a person's task is to spread this knowledge as divine truth so that untruth and error will be displaced and the spiritual darkness among people banished. For knowledge is light, and light is life and bliss. But if the creatures are to become blissfully happy one day they must inevitably be delivered from the spiritual night, which is the task of the human being who is called by God to be the bearer of light on earth. Amen.